Hello and welcome to this session about the new Fiori style cockpit for SAP Business 191 version for SAP HANA. With SAP Business 191 version for SAP HANA, a new cockpit based on HTML5 technology is available. There are predefined cockpits for sales, purchasing, finance and inventory, which will display specified widgets in relation to their permission group role. If there is no permission group assigned, an empty cockpit will be displayed and the user can start from scratch and add widgets from the widgets gallery. As seen on the screenshot, new widgets such as the workbench, count and recently updated widget are available. The recently updated widget reflects new and updated master data, marketing documents, chart of accounts and many more types of information. The widget gallery enables customers a quick adoption of pervasive analytics technology as they can choose from a variety of predefined content. The Count Widget is a simple but powerful feature to get insights of your business. There are five predefined Count Widgets available for sales orders not delivered, open AI invoices, purchase orders not received, open AP invoices and open inventory transfer requests. In addition, it's possible to create new Count Widgets based on user-defined queries where the count widgets count the query results. The workbench is a process flow widget to create and manage documents for sales, purchasing, inventory management, and financials. It provides easy access to related functions and guides a user through key business processes. And now I would like to show you all this live in a demo. So this is the SAP Business 191 version for SAP HANA client with the typical default cockpit, which is the new Fiori style cockpit. So you can see we have here on the left a new widget called sales process. This is what I have uh, added to my cockpit. It's a workbench widget, which shows all the key functions around the sales process. For example, we have here the sales order, and if I click on it, it will open the sales order marketing document. I can also use the drop down button here to see related features to a sales order like open items list. Okay, there are also the My Recent Updates widget. So here I can see the latest transactions and changes and and also the newly created data and transactions for my company. For example, here I have the GL account. There are changes made. I also have the different marketing documents where I also can always drill down and we'll get to the same document number as displayed here for sure. And you can also see that also master data changes are reflected. So almost every change or new created document or data will be displayed here. There's also another new widget in the new cockpit available, so-called the count widget. The count widget displays here my open AI invoices. I just have two of them, so I can click on it. And I can immediately also drill down from here to the marketing document. And I can also use this icon here to open a new AI invoice. If I click on Tools, Cockpit, Count Widget Setup, I can also add or create new count widgets. Therefore, I just need to specify a name and a business object like AI invoice and a query. And then the count widget will show all the results displayed of my query. Now let's edit the cockpit to show you the widget gallery. So by clicking on the pencil, I have now entered the edit mode. I can, for example, drag this widget to the right bottom and it will be deleted. So, and now I can use the plus sign here to open the widgets gallery. And in here you can see a lot of predefined content. So we have dashboards. We have the crystal dashboards as well. We have the KPIs. 
we have the workbench widgets and the my recent updates widget. So I have deleted one of my count widgets. So there are so many widgets available, so I can narrow this down to just a business object count. And here I just get a list of all my count widgets so I can um, choose the my sales orders not delivered count widget and go back. And now it has been added to my cockpit so I can agree here, close the edit mode and now I have the my sales orders not delivered here and then I can click on the three and you can see now the sales orders not delivered are displayed and also if I click on the other icon a new sales order marking document will open. All right, that's it. Um, thank you for watching this session about SCP Business 191 and the new Fiori style cockpit. Bye bye.